The world's first jet-powered passenger plane, the de Havilland Comet, was a source of pride for England. It was one of the safest planes recognized for its superiority by all aircraft manufacturers. But on January 10, 1954, just 26 minutes after takeoff, a terrible explosion occurred near the cockpit section, and the plane, along with its 29 passengers and six crew members, fell into the sea like a meteor shower. No one survived the crash. A team investigating the crash would come across incredible findings conduct one of the most expensive tests in history by assembling the plane's parts one by one, and when they discovered the cause of the explosion, they would be in for a huge shock. Right at the beginning of World War II, the United Kingdom decided to launch a civil aviation reform and wanted to produce more efficient, faster airplanes. The Douglas DC-3 from American Airlines was tying the hands of other airlines. Instead of developing the same models and making different designs, England was after more innovative and modern ideas. Ideas that would overshadow America's planes. After a while, they also thought of Henry Kwan, the world's first jet-powered airplane he built in 1910. The jet engine design, which gained momentum during World War II, first came to life in fighter planes. The idea of using jet engines in passenger planes was first proposed by the British government on December 23, 1942. This project, which had to wait on dusty shelves during the war years, was brought to life in 1946. Jet-powered planes could fly much faster and at higher altitudes than propeller-driven planes. They were wondering what would happen if they put a jet engine on a passenger plane. As they did more research, they thought it could consume much more fuel and might have less thrust. However, because of the low friction at flights at 12,000 meters altitude, the fuel consumption could be at the desired level. After three years of research and development, the Havilland Comet emerged in 1946. The aircraft called Comet 1 made its first flight on July 27. 1946. Thanks to the four Ghost 50 turbojet engines placed on the wings of the aircraft, it could reach a speed of about 800 km per hour. Its aerodynamic body and appearance made it look like it came straight out of a sci-fi movie. It was almost twice as fast as a regular passenger plane. People would be able to travel a distance in about four hours that would normally take eight hours, and that was its biggest selling point. Comet was now ready to carry passengers. On May 2, 1952, three years after its first flight, a new chapter in aviation history began when the plane took off from London with passengers. The world's first jet-powered passenger plane had begun its service. It made its first flight with 36 passengers to Johannesburg, South Africa. The journey took 23 hours and 34 minutes. Later, it made many different flights and these increased confidence in the comet. But all of this was about to come to an end. On May 2, 1953, the Comet passenger plane, which was scheduled to fly from Singapore to London, took off after boarding passengers at the airport in Calcutta, India. The weather was stormy and rainy, but it was suitable for flying. Shortly after takeoff, as the plane was climbing to 10,000 feet, there was a terrible explosion. The shattered parts of the fuselage fell to the ground in flames. None of the 57 passengers and six crew members on the plane survived. The accident happened on May 2, 1953, exactly one year to the day after the anniversary of Comet's first passenger flight. This was the worst disaster in the 13-year history of the British airline boat. The investigation into the accident concluded it was caused by the storm, but the reality was entirely different. While suspicions about the plane continued to dispel these doubts, Queen Elizabeth, her mother, and Princess Margaret posed for a photo as they were about to board the Comet in June 1953. Two months later, on August 27, the new Comet 2 was introduced. It had 46% more thrust and the passenger capacity was increased from 36 to 44. Despite everything, the Comet 1 series was still in operation. Everyone thought the crash was caused by the storm, but the real problem was the Comet 1 itself. January 10, 1954, 1010 anti meridium 29 passengers board the plane for the Rome to London flight. The weather is quite nice. At around 1031, 
the Comet passenger plane, flight number 781, departs from Rome. At 1038, it climbs to an altitude of 11,000 meters. Most passengers struggle with the pressure as it's their first time at this altitude. Back then, smoking was permitted on planes. The passengers are resting calmly, but none of them will make it to London. At 1051, while the pilot of the Comet passenger plane is in contact with another nearby aircraft, the conversation is suddenly cut off. The plane suddenly tears apart from the upper fuselage. Turning into a ball of fire, the plane crashes near LB Island. Meanwhile, some of the fishermen there personally witness something falling in flames. At 11.15, the tower receives news that a plane has crashed near Elbe Island. When the fishermen reach the place where the plane crashed, they are met with a chilling sight. Lifeless people and their belongings were floating on the surface. Meanwhile, the relatives of the passengers waiting in England were worried. After a while, the information notices about Flight 781 were also removed. Shortly after, the news that the plane had crashed arrived. Only the bodies of 15 passengers could be found and no one survived. The news of the terrible accident made headlines around the world. Was this a pilot error or was it a problem with the plane? Maybe it was something intentional done by other companies or maybe a terrorist attack. In 1954, an accident investigation team was formed. The team's job was difficult because they had neither a black box nor a device that recorded flight data. They couldn't progress further this way. First, they started investigating the passengers and what they found was interesting. Some of the passengers had broken arms, some had broken legs, and their internal organs were damaged. But these happened after the passengers died. The strange thing was the cracks and wounds on the passengers' skulls. These happened while the passengers were still alive. So, something first injured their skulls, then suddenly killed them. An expert doctor discovers what suddenly killed them during the investigation. Almost all of the passengers' lungs had burst like a balloon. Before hitting the ground, burning or drowning, their lungs had already killed them. So what was it that caused the plane to crash? Winston Churchill makes a bold decision and orders the wreckage of the plane to be recovered from the sea to find out the cause of the crash. The research and rescue ship sets out immediately. Navy experts find the wreckage of the plane on an underwater camera 33 days after the crash. The pieces are dismantled gradually over weeks, during which the jet-powered Comet planes are grounded. During this process, the boat company loses thousands of pounds every week. As a result of intense pressure, the owner of the company achieves his goal. We obviously wouldn't be flying the Comet with passengers in it on service were we not highly satisfied that the conditions are acceptable for carrying passengers anywhere in the world. On March 23, before the accident's cause was determined, the British government allowed Comet aircraft to carry passengers. At the same time, a team of experts is busy assembling the parts of the aircraft one by one onto a skeleton in an empty hangar. April 8, 1974, three months after the accident, while the official accident investigation was still ongoing, the Comet took off from Rome to Egypt with 14 passengers and seven crew members. 33 minutes after takeoff, the plane, which had climbed to 35,000 feet, suddenly broke apart while cruising at this altitude and fell into the Tyrrhenian Sea. All 21 people on board lost their lives. This was the second disaster within three months. This incident immediately grounded the entire Comet fleet, and the British Ministry of Transport revoked the aircraft's certification. Production of the Comet aircraft was halted. Both planes had taken off from Rome and exploded shortly after takeoff, accidents that are too similar to each other. The pressurized cabin designed for passengers to travel comfortably was not very suitable for the Comet's aluminum structure. However, this didn't prevent flight. The issue wasn't solely the pressure, but the comet itself. For this test, the passengers and the plane were prepared as exact miniatures. The pressure inside the cabin was set to match the level at 35,000 feet. After a while, the air rushing out of the cabin at high speed released an incredible amount of energy. This tore the plane apart. 
For the passengers inside, the sudden change in air pressure caused the air in their lungs to expand within milliseconds and their lungs to burst. For this to happen on the comet, the pressure had to leak from somewhere. So there was a weakness somewhere in the body structure, but the manufacturer never admitted this. Another incredible experiment was conducted to find out the truth. In the experiment, a water tank measuring 34 meters long, 7 meters wide, and 5 meters deep was built in six weeks by a team working in shifts, 24 hours a day. The inside and wings of the comet were removed and placed into the water. While the plane was in the water, the pressure was rapidly increased and then slowly decreased. In this way, they were trying to simulate the pressure at 35,000 feet. It could take months to get results. Meanwhile, the team assembling the plane's parts onto the skeleton determined through detailed analysis that the first piece to break off belonged to the upper section of the fuselage. First, the upper section of the fuselage broke apart, then the rear section, where most of the passengers were, followed by the wings, and finally the cockpit separated. The fuel in the wings was left engulfed in flames. During the ongoing investigation, a phone call came on June 24th. The plane, which was subjected to testing in water, split open starting from the window side in less than a month. A critical weakness was discovered in the structure of the comet. The cause of this was metal fatigue. If you bend and twist a metal with force, there won't be a problem at first, but over time it will start to wear out, just like here. Tiny cracks have already started to form. Another test is being conducted during the flight, and as a result it's determined that the stress on the doors and windows is four times greater than in other areas. Normally this should have been at most half as much. Other errors in the design of the plane also stood out. For example, the windows. They were designed in a rectangular shape. This greatly affected the distribution of the wind and increased the pressure on the windows much more than it should have, but not enough to cause an explosion. Of course, the problem wasn't just with these. The parts holding the windows together were riveted instead of being glued. The process used a stapler, not glue. These staples created small cracks in the metal and they gradually grew larger. Then, with the effect of the pressure, the energy release tore off the upper part of the plane's fuselage. That's why some planes belonging to the committee exploded not during their first flights, but after dozens of flights, because of the metal fatigue that developed gradually. This thing you see is a real piece from the upper fuselage of the crashed Comete. And the thing that started the disaster is this small rivet tongue right here. A manufacturing defect in the aircraft's skin, the faulty design of the windows, and incorrect assembly completely changed the course of aviation history. Now windows are installed in an oval shape and the skins are designed to be more durable. A total of 114 Comet aircraft were produced and they made their final flight in 1997, after which they became history. It is said that every rule in aviation is written in blood. This turned out to be true. Even though they lost their lives by causing the rules to change, they actually saved the lives of other passengers. Comet airplanes changed the history of aviation from top to bottom with their jet engines and manufacturing flaws.